liberal trash Kirsten Cinema's outfit at World Economic Forum. Why is she dressed like a sheep? Senators Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin spoke at the World Economic Forum on Tuesday. Liberal social media users continued to voice their vitriol for independent Arizona Senator Kirsten Cinema after she appeared at World Economic Forum in Davos with Senator Joe Manchin, Democrat West Virginia, on Tuesday. During their joint appearance at the forum, both Manchin and Cinema reiterated their support for the filibuster, a position that frequently drew ire from Democratic members of the Senate. And we still don't agree on getting rid of the filibuster? Manchin said. That's correct, she replied, high-fiving Manchin in the process. Cinema's defense of the filibuster as well as the large sweater she wore during the event were both attacked on Twitter as horrid and akin to a Batman villain. If the mayor refuses to pay the ransom, I, Lady Cinema, will shrink all of Gotham City. Wahahaha, American independent senior writer Oliver Willis joked. MSNBC host Chris Hayes tweeted, I've heard from wealthy donors that cinema is at her most comfortable and gregarious around rich donors. And you can really see it here. After Manchin slash cinema chose to stand with the GOP and refuse to repeal the filibuster, the child tax credit expired and childhood poverty increased 41%, which meant 3.7 million more children were forced into poverty. But yeah, high fives all around. Horrid, lawyer Kasim Rashi explained. Clearly Kirsten Cinema heard she was going to Davos and thought it was some kind of Game of Thrones fan convention. Occupied Democrats contributor Tara Dublin wrote, Liberals and some in the media have criticized and attacked Cinema for her moderate positions such as her support for the filibuster during the Biden administration. After months of media backlash, Left-wing activists confronted Cinema on her positions in an Arizona State University bathroom back in October 2021. The backlash Cinema faced from far-left protesters, as well as Democratic members of Congress, eventually led her to switch her party affiliation from Democratic to Independent in December. Liberal media members continued to target her by accusing the senator of spoiling the slim majority the Democrats gained in the Senate after the midterm elections. I and an op ed for the Arizona Republic, Cinema explained her decision writing Americans are told that we have only two choices, Democrat or Republican, and that we must subscribe wholesale to policy views the parties hold, views that have been pulled further and further toward the extremes.